Oh, hi, I'm Dave Demon. Welcome to another edition of A Bible Conversation. And uh, today I want to talk about something that uh, has been on my mind for a while, and it's the concept of time. Uh, if you know, those of you know, that know me know that my background is in clock repair, and those of you who don't, uh, I am a horologist. I went to school for clock repair. It's my vocation uh, on top of being a realtor as well. And uh, uh, my dad decided that somebody in the family should know, learn how to fix clocks because he worked for a clock uh, manufacturer at the time. So I went to school at MATC in Milwaukee and learned the art of clock repair. So in other words, I'm kind of a, a specialist on time. I'm a horologist, and the word horologist means time specialist. So as I was looking at the Bible, I wanted to, I, I've been looking at this idea of time for some time now. And uh, this is my dad's watch right here. And uh, this is how we tell time. And uh, we have 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, 365 days a year, except for leap year. And minutes of 60 seconds. Uh, and there's milliseconds, and we, we, we define time, but when we talk about God, God is eternal. And what does eternal mean? Well, there was a movie that came out a couple years ago called The Eternals about these beings that uh, would live forever. Um, and we, all of us, uh, when we die, have eternal souls. So we are, we are eternal, but we were made, whereas the Lord was always there. Um, he was what we use the word begotten, meaning that uh, there was no beginning for God. God was always there. And he will always be, always has, and always will be. And it's hard for the mind to comprehend that. So I thought I'd try to make it easy to understand a little bit um, as to when did time start and how do you compare that to eternity and, and the Lord? So I looked at the Genesis right here. And, of course, the very first line of Genesis says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness and called the light day and the darkness night. And there was evening and there was morning one day. Now, that's the beginning of time. There was no time before that. And God, when we believe in the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, as one, so was the Holy Spirit and was Jesus his Son with him at the all the way before? And the answer is yes. They've always been one triune God. So time began that day. That's when the watch started ticking, so to speak. And here we are, we measure time every single day. Um, the sun comes up, the sun goes down. We go to work, we come home, we sleep, we get up, we eat. And everything's based on time. There will be an end to time. And the Bible talks about the end times back in the book of Revelation back here. And when does time end? And time ends at the very, very end when there's the white throne judgment. Um, Satan's thrown into the abyss. And, uh, and, and, and there we will live and be with God forever and ever. So think about it this way. If, uh, here's a pen, okay? This is eternity, this whole, this whole screen here. And God created time right here in the middle. So we had a beginning, or rather a beginning rather over here and an end. But when it's all finished, Eternity is going to just keep on going, and it was always here in the first place anyways. So he created this, this little segment called time, this little tiny piece. Uh, for us, you know, we live 70, 80, maybe 100 years. That's our time here on earth. But our time in heaven will be never ending. So another way to kind of comprehend never ending and always is if you get a clear night and it's dark, look out at the stars. And... Look at how many stars there are. And now imagine that each star is a sun, like our sun, only probably much bigger. And it has planets revolving, revolving, revolving around it. And then beyond that are galaxies and even more galaxies. And uh, we've got the Hubble Space Telescope, which we can see further and further and further. And as more and more satellites get out, they're able to see further and further into the universe. And the universe never ends. 
It can't, because how could it end? If you think about it, if it ended here, like this piece of paper, it ended right here. Well, what's on the other side of it? What's on what's on either side of it? Okay, it can't end, and that, therefore, time can end. But God can't. He's eternal, and we're going to have eternal souls with him. There's also eternal damnation for those that decide to reject God, and that's why God created hell. And I don't want anybody to go to hell because we're going to be with God a very, very long time. Eternity lasts forever, and, and it has to. It can't last for a period of time because time is going to be over someday. So we have to realize that we have eternal souls so you want to spend eternity with God or in hell, and I, I hope it's with God. And uh, for those of us that have brought Jesus into our life, uh, then uh, we're going to be with him forever, but there are those that haven't. And, uh, and my pray prayer is that you do, because they've always been together. We were, we were made in God's image, and it wasn't just one God. If you flip over here to Genesis and find out when God created man, he said... Um, then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps in the earth. And God created man in his own image. You notice it says, let us. That's because it's God the Spirit, God the Son, God the Father. Three in one. One God, but us. So there's some insight into who God is here. And that's, that, that's where I want to be. So... If you haven't brought Jesus into your life, take a moment and do so right now. Just say, dear Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry for my sins. I want to be with you in heaven for eternity. Please come into my life, and I make you my Lord and Savior. If you pray that simple prayer, we believe you got born again. Um, get into a good Bible-based church, something that teaches the Bible. And uh, uh, if you need a Bible, I'll be happy to send you one. And, uh, and walk with God and spend eternity with him because it's a long time, or rather, no time at all, because time ends. I'm Dave Detman, uh, and uh, thank you for watching today. May God bless your day, and uh, you have a blessed week as well. Bye-bye.